My name is Renee Kira. I'm at Takura Leo Rua Omonso and I'm reporting for Kira Kids News. In the news today, our school chickens got attacked. Let's find out why. Also, we're going to find out what we're going to do about it. <laughs> when the chickens died, we buried them here. Then we did a karakia and a haka. They littered us and picked them up and they littered us, pet them and they littered us um, get some eggs. Our chickens have been getting killed for the last um, couple of weeks. They've been getting um, killed one day each. And I think it was a big dog who ate our chickens. Because we've seen heaps of dog footprints around the chicken coop. Everyone was sometimes crying because they were all dead. Naughty, naughty dog. They were outside. All around the huts were outside, ripped. Heads were cut off. We feel sad for the chickens. Then unfortunately, we had two attacks. We decided to get in contact with Bunnings. Bunnings came in and they helped build this awesome new chicken coop for us. But unfortunately, there's one sneaky little dog that keeps coming back for more and got in and destroyed all of our chickens that were remaining. I'll show you where they lay the eggs. This is the hole that we think that the dog's got in, but we covered it up with some more wire. But I don't think it's going to work. They could make thicker wire or, like, put double wire over it. To catch these secret chicken attackers, we've got the spy camera. This camera takes infrared pictures at night time. Okay. Where do you think we should put it? I think over there in that corner. Job well done. <laughs> we put a dead possum into the coop and left the camera there for a week. And this is what we saw. The coop in the school got famous. The Northern Advocate printed a story about the chicken attack, so Bunnings came to the rescue again. Guess what, everyone? Bunnings are coming to fix our chicken coop. Yeah. What do you know about our chicken coop? I know that your chicken coop has been broken into a couple of times by dogs, cats and possums. What do you reckon you're going to do to fix it? Well, we've got this um, wire here. So this is a stronger mesh so the dogs won't be able to break in. We're going to stick it all around. Um, we've got some plywood to screw in and yeah. Can we help? Oh, absolutely. The more hands, the easier it is. What do you want us kids to do? You've helped carry the wire over, but now you, we can help stretch it out and hammer it up. Sweet, let's get into it. Yeah, let's go. Do you think that Bunnings are going to improve our chicken coop? Yeah, Bunnings are the best. So they've been stapling, um, they've been holding up the wire mesh as we we're um, stretching it. Um, there's so many good little hammerers here. No one's had their fingers yet, have they? <laughs> oh, my dad's a fencer and we've done lots of fences on our farm. That's all the work complete. Now we're going to put the chickens in. Now we're going to put the chickens in the new home. Welcome chickens to your new dog proof home. So what's your guys idea for now? So that means the chicken house. 
So there you have it, our new chickens have a new dog-proof home. My name's Rekuro, reporting for Kia Kids News. Yeah.